single's my last one. Welcome to Single That Guest this week, Morrissey. Hiya. Hello. And how Devoto. Hello. Hello, Janet. Right, this is Pseudo Echo and Living in a Dream. Pseudo Echo and Living in a Dream singled out, reviewing a selection of the week's new releases. And tonight, Howard Devoto and Morrissey Howard. That track by uh, Pseudo Echo. Do you reckon they're one of the best things to come out of Australia? No. No. <laughs> I think there's uh, an awful lot of um, hook in that. Um, it's extremely blunt. Uh, extremely blunt hook. Um, I can't imagine it penetrating my flesh very far. Do you think it's a case of all hook and nothing else, Morris? Well, all, I, I think it's slightly better than that last one. Mm. But I'm not about to, um, I don't know, I'm not about to change my sex or anything. Uh, are, are you, Janice? No, certainly not by listening to that. Um, I heard somebody actually saying, oh, you know, there's a lot of talent coming out of Australia at the moment, and is they are the really? best. Are they the best? Oh, well, I mean, this is what this person said, but I mean, there is a lot of talent in Australia, but I, I don't think... Um, they would feature very, very highly. Oh, right. Um, the new single by The Cure from the album Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me is just like heaven. Cure from the album Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. They're currently on a world tour, and uh, that is just like heaven, Morrissey. Yes. Go yes. on. Yes, um, I do not like the cure. No. I have never liked the cure. Why have you never liked the I cure? I do not like the cure. I believe it's mutual, especially where Robert Smith is concerned. I find the words, the language very uh, trite, just like heaven. I don't like the artwork. What's the artwork got to do with the uh, sound? Oh, a lot, Janice. A great deal, a great deal. Um, I just cannot ever, ever, under any circumstances, like this group. So that's it? Well, pleasantly so, yes. Okay, then. Howard? Uh, well, I, I could like them just for uh, Robert Smith's smudged lipstick, I think. <laughs> um, and I quite like the sound of his voice. I don't have very many Cure records. Um... I don't like the title very much, um, and I don't know that it seemed very lifelike to me. Okay then, The Cure and Just Like Heaven. And this is a new single from Paul Johnson, who's actually guested on this show. He's in session on my show on Monday evening, produced by Junior Giscombe again. This is Fear of Falling. Well, I think first of all I should say uh, I, I think I, I must be here to boldly confess my ignorance um, at all kinds of things. Um, I've never heard of Paul Johnson. He's relatively new, so. Um, I know about fear of fly, uh, fear, <laughs> fear of falling, um, and uh, that didn't make me feel that he knew anything about it. Um, not. Not at all my kind of record. But can you appreciate that he's got a good voice, or...? No, he, really. uh, Shut up, Morrissey. I can, I can try very hard. Um, Under pressure. Um, <laughs> but... I feel so what? Okay. It really is what you do with it, isn't it? What do you think you should have done with it, then? Um... <laughs> well... <laughs> I think uh, let's pass on. Okay, Morrissey. <laughs> Is he from Manchester? No, I don't think so. I think he's from London. London. Oh well, that that, that was a different coloration on the whole thing. I quite liked it because I thought he had. Um, I think he has a good voice. Great range. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> 
I don't know about his range, but his voice is quite good. And it was produced by Junior Gasworks, is that right? <laughs> yes, um, I quite like that's his voice. Who you were talking about. What? What? That's who you were talking yes, that's about. Yes, I was, I was telling him today that Junior Gasworks is generally on this programme. He However, was on last week, yes, that's right. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. I quite liked the voice. Mm. But what about the song? The song, well, uh, what, what, what song, John? <laughs> Not much. Okay, not much, right. really. So you make of this one, Jennifer Warnes. I think she has singles out as often as Luther Van Dross. Um, this time she's with Bill Medley, and uh, apparently this is from um, a movie. It's called, oh, ow, it's called I've Had the Time of My Life. Now I have the time of my life. No, I never felt like this before. Yes, I swear it's a truth. Dirty Dancing, I've had the time of my life. Uh, Morrissey. Yes. Yes, I liked that one. I thought that was a very good record. His voice is um, wonderful. Uh, he's, and just, it, he's the guy from... Um, uh, the Righteous Brothers. Righteous Brothers. And it was very reminiscent in some places of Righteous Brothers stuff. But no, very rousing, very um, very affecting record. Okay, how do they do? Yes, I, I, I think perhaps I was slightly wrong about voices. Um... Because just the sound, just the sound of that voice is something. Um, hearing it again, yeah, in a in a song that is a, a little similar um, to ones we might remember. Yeah. Um, I didn't really like it though. I know it's possible to like records like that, but I must say. Do you think their voices work together? Well, the title's good. I like the title. <laughs> Uh, Do you like the title, Howard? Um, I, I, I feel okay about it. I, I, well, that's I, not enough. You've got to like it. Well, I don't feel threatened enough by it. Well, maybe time will change uh, that. Now. Yes, <laughs> my life might change it. Um, <laughs> A late addition to Singled Out just arrived. New single from you, Rhythmics. And this is called um, Beethoven. I think it's an excellent record. And this is really an A-side? Yeah. This is really the next release? I, that's the first time I've heard it. I said it literally just mm. came in and I panicked then because I thought, God, I hope I haven't put the B-side on. No, it is. It's definitely the A-side. Well, I find it remarkable. I find it very, very interesting. A great record. What do you like about it? I liked the sense of... Um, uh, uh, Space. Uh, well, semi-anarchy, really, mm. somewhere. Mm. For the Eurythmics to do this and mm. um, implant this upon their audience, I think, is great. It'll probably be their first total flop. But nonetheless... Like no, it won't be. Well, either that or it'll be number one for, you know... Years. Bohemian Rhapsody, etc. <laughs> I think it's really, really very brave and very interesting. And, uh, yes... Yes. Do you go along with that hurdle? Uh, mostly. Um, Which bit I, do you agree I, I, with? Well, I do like Annie Lennox, mm. and uh, coming back to voices, um, I do just like the sound of her voice, uh -huh. uh, and I do find her quite enticing. Mm. Um, I don't know that I. I thought it was that that good. It is a. It, it is kind of brave, in, in a way. Um, Again, I suppose so many people must uh, um, complain on this show that it's really difficult, first hearing and all that. It is. And, um, or it washed all over them, that's another common phrase. Nah, um, I can't say anything about them because I'm on the same label. Uh, yes, well, <laughs> um, Morrissey and I did decide we were probably here to make enemies more than anything. Um, <laughs> but uh, interesting, not 
Not quite interesting enough. OK, right. B.B. Uh, King. Uh, I mentioned before that Paul Johnson will be supporting B.B. King. And B.B. Uh, King's got dates which begin on October the 8th and he's going all over the place. And this is the cover of the, uh, the Wilson Pickett track. This is In the Midnight Hour. I never liked that song. No, never, ever, ever, no, not ever. Even when I was, you know, three years old, I never liked that song. Do you like Wilson Pickett? Do you like B.B. King? Do I what? Do you like Wilson Pickett? Do you like B.B. Uh, King? Do you like that song? What, together or apart? Together, apart. It, together and apart, I dislike them. Right. I, that Atlantic thing just never really touched me. It sort mm. of, you know, just swept over me. As we were talking just then about... Um, music that's around yeah what, what, what do you like at the moment what do i like at the moment yes. now, let me think not too long <laughs> yes not, not too long i like the last single yes the paul, paul, paul mccartney, McCartney. Right? Mm. i like the wonder stuff single oh, it's so clever that i'm there so great. different the first time i heard it which was on your show i thought that was very very different and i like the raymond single yeah the raymond single solid state schools great single other than that not really much uh -huh. Mm. Nothing grabs you. Well, uh, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come up with one. I'll come Go up on. with one. Go on. Um, uh, it's uh, a single called Fancy Dress by The Bathers. Um, yeah. I, d I don't know how long ago it came out. A few months now, isn't it? A good few months. I, I was attracted to it because um, I, I, I read they'd um, managed to um, put some Marcel Proust into... Um, a song, mm. um, which was enough to make me want to hear it, and uh, I actually I, I like the you record like a lot. Yes. Well, you might like this band because they're from the same stable, certainly the same label, Go Discs. They're called the Lars, and this is Way Out. I can't remember, but they've been together for about six months, a uh, young band called The Lars, and they've got a series of tour dates. Uh, if you're interested, perhaps you'd like to check uh, the music press. Morrissey? Yes, I like that. I agree. I, I've heard of them somewhere. Well, well, well I've been playing them, and I've done a session. A session, that's yeah. what I've heard from them, of them, rather. It's nice to know you listen. Oh, night, night and day. <laughs> well, not daytime, but nighttime. Hey. Uh, yes, I really like this. It has a very old-fashioned kind of um, yeah. Brian Prothero feel yeah. to it. But I really liked it. I thought it was really, really different and uh, quite sweet. Singer's dead sweet as well. He looks like um, Brian Jones. Well, B Brian who? Brian Jones. Oh, oh, the, oh, the, the late uh, Brian Jones. The late Brian the late Jones. Brian Jones. No, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Oh, good. Please, because um, when we did the session with him, I was saying to you beforehand that uh, we did a session and we've just got loads of mail from people saying, who, you know, who are this band? Where can I go and mm. see them? Um, what do you make of it? Well, does it not sound to you like there's... Um, a Buick hubcap on the bass drum. Well, that, well that's what I said. 1965. Uh, that's what Janice said. Uh, I have to. I have to confess a slight interest uh, since the um, producer that uh, we're working with at the moment uh, actually did this record. Did you? Um, and they, as I think you can hear from it, uh, they've gone for a very 60s mm -hmm. sound mm -hmm. on it. Um, I think it's. It really is okay. I, I think. It, I, I really quite like it. Good. Mm. Uh, what about Samantha Fox? Either of you Samantha Fox fans? Oh, yes. You do, can't you, wait. Do, can do, you, do you have a Samantha Fox record? I do, I do. My God. <laughs> Sing 
will buy Samantha Fox. That's, I promise you, get ready. Morrissey. Well, if I was Samantha Fox's manager, I would put her in a large box and send her to the Shetland Islands. Do you know she sold more by the Shetland Islands? <laughs> well, it's far away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Um... That's a bit cruel, isn't it? Uh, no, not really. Maybe to the people who live in the Shetland Islands. That's not for the people who buy Samantha Fox records. Oh, I doubt it. I doubt it. She has <laughs> sold more albums, or is it more singles? I can't remember than Simple Minds nationwide. Uh, well, nationwide. Yeah. Uh, worldwide. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so you wouldn't you wouldn't buy that, would you? Uh, not tonight. No. Or tomorrow. Come beside you. Not even if you threw in a set of Pyrex dishes. Howard. Uh, no, no, no. Um, who is... Is that your final word on the subject? Yes. No, he's just beginning. He's revving up. He's revving up. I'm not, I'm not. He's revving up. He's revving up. He's revving up. He's revving up. He's Yes, this is the absolute <laughs> end of existence. This is um, the enemy. This is the enemy. I don't like it. At right. All. And do you know who Macaulay Schenker Group are? Uh, offhand, no. Oh, right. Give me your love. Macaulay Schenker Group and Give Me Your Love and one half of Macaulay Schenker is Michael Schenker and the other is Robin Macaulay. We didn't ask. <laughs> well, I just thought you might be curious. Moza. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what can I say about that record? Apart I'm sure you can say a lot. I, I mean, I don't really believe that there's anybody out there now who thinks I might like that record. I don't think you no. like it, but you never know. You might surprise us. You can be unpredictable. No, I, I, I very rarely do that. I didn't like that, did you, Howard? No. Howie. Not, Howie. Howie. <laughs> <laughs> really not, a, name, sorry. not only that, I, I really don't believe there's anybody out there that does like that record. I, uh, that's exactly the way I feel. However, what happens when it charts at number 20? <laughs> <laughs> Who um, bought it? We come to the conclusion that... Uh, <laughs> We should, I don't know, find a new doctor or something. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've already done that, Howard. It doesn't really work. <laughs> uh, well, you know, in my heart of hearts, perhaps somebody like Henry Ford might like that record, but beyond that, I'm pressed. Very hard pressed indeed. <laughs> it's a hit. Yes. Probably. It's it a hit. Really the first is. one. <laughs> you what you reckon has been the best one so far no janice you can't because well, i'm going to and you're going to answer. it's nearly news <laughs> go time. on no no go on tell us come on what's been right. the best so far the best one so far has been the lars and what do you say howard yes, i concur i'm going to pick two i'm going to say the lars and the cure it's six thirty we'll be back in a moment for the news desk <laughs> of the album is American English and I think that's because one half of the uh, of Wax is government is English is, and Andrew Gold is it's Belgian yay yes. you win tonight's <laughs> cuddly toy yes. um, go on then well I, I think it's quite sad because Goldman wrote many many great things in the 1960s for Herman's Hermits who are one of my favourite groups. He didn't do that track that I really love, which is... Probably not, Janice, no. Something tells me... No, no, no. no. That was an American, actually, that record. Was it? Yes. It's a shame that this record is so awful, because, uh, you know, it would be quite nice if he made a nice record, especially for us three people sitting here today. Did you like building a bridge to your heart? <laughs> no. Howard? Um, 
Well, I, I want to protest somewhere or other. You make me protest to, uh, I, I want to, Which point? I want to wonder whether I should wonder what it's about. Um, no, Howard, no, Howard. Not advisable at this stage. I, w I wonder if we're losing our concentration. Janice, should we play our own records instead? <laughs> I haven't got any. It would be very silent for my bit, wouldn't it? Do you want to hear the next one? Oh, go on. Glenn Goldsmith, I won't cry. <laughs> No, I want to go first. Right. Do you mind, Howard? I want you to go first. <laughs> well, in that case, he reminds me a little bit of uh, Rick Asprin, that one that's just been on top of the charts, you know. But I think uh, Rough Trade Records, perhaps. Sorry? He should go to Rough Trade Records. <laughs> um, he was oh. born, hang on, he was born and raised in Slug Berkshire. First tried his hand at singing. Uh, I, I want to like it, but I don't really. But you don't like it, but you want to like it. Why do you I, want to like it? Well, because by this... Li Liking things is a, is a good thing. Besides that, Howard, that doesn't really occur to me. <laughs> this blurb here is really quite nice about him and his life and what he wants to do and his ambitions and so on. And it would be really nice if he fulfilled them. But uh, this record... It, it mas masquerades as a song about love. Um, I think I can definitely say that. Only that? Uh, well, uh, I was trying to read it as a song about asthma, but I, I have no further success doing that. Okay, right. See what you um, make of this one, how analytical you can be about uh, Muscle Deep by Then Jericho. single by then Jericho. Not new really because um, yeah. originally it was out about 18 months ago but that's uh, a new version of it which is on first the sound of music Muscle Deep Power. You've actually seen the band haven't you? But uh, yes about three years ago at Dingwalls. Mm. Um, I like the, their name. Um, I like the title. Uh, I believe it's uh, has something to do with South Africa. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't hear what exactly. <laughs> um I don't know. The, the, there may be something to them. They may uh, they may cross that uh, psychological barrier that uh, I need to have crossed for me before I can uh, take anything to my heart. Um, it sounded all right. Okay. All right. I went to see them a couple of weeks ago at uh, a very very packed town and country. That's the follow up yeah. to the um, the motive, which was a hit. Morrissey. Do you like it? Well, I didn't know whether it was about South Africa or Southampton. I couldn't really tell. Am I the only person who thinks that this group sounds like um, King? Obviously, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you are. <laughs> yes, I think I am. They remind me of King a lot. Right. And more than that, I can scarcely say. Okay, then. This way up. Um, <clears throat> are, um, Roy Hay, now he's the guy that used to be with Culture Club, and another guy called, uh, is it Robinson Reed? And they've done a cover version if, of If I Can't Have You. It was um, originally done by Yvonne Allen, which I, and I used to like it. Um, here it is. Yvonne Ellen and Howard. 
It's one of those titles, isn't it? That, um, no, it isn't. Oh, Sorry. It, it You've is. gone it, off the track. And it's basically. one of those titles that um, I think these titles, people... It's like wish fulfillment. Yes, um, if I can't have you. Uh, well, no, I was thinking stop, more stop. of... Um, I don't think I know this song, but it, it seems to me it's one that... It's like writing number one or uh, I'm going to be oh, a success. Um, I think first time round, yes. Was it? Well, it was a success, wasn't it, the first time round? For Yvonne... For Yvonne Elliman. Bell yeah, Elliman. So I, I, I don't remember that. Um, and I think I've forgotten that. You don't remember what? Saturday Night Fever, huh? Well, I remember <laughs> it. <laughs> and I've forgotten it also. He's quite a nice person, Roy. Yes. I've met him and he's really quite... Um, Undishevelled, but this is very foggy. I can't really work this one out. What on earth? What? What, what, what is it? Where is it know. going? Why? Why is it being released? Why do it? Exactly. Hmm. These questions and more will be answered. Um, I, I don't know because um, the last single they had, uh, Robinson, I mean, he has got a really good voice, but don't look at me like that. Why not? Well, why? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think <first. laughs> Bob Dylan. by John Hyatt and from the movie um, um, Hot to Fire, that's it. And uh, Rupert Everett's in that movie as well. Now, how have you particularly wanted to hear that track, so I think you should... Yes, I, I must thank you for playing it. We'd like um, to accommodate. It wasn't that good, was it, really? Um, Is that because it's not one of his songs? No, I don't, no, I don't think so, uh, unfortunately. I, th I thought his voice sounded pretty good on it. Um... Alas, the, the film probably um, won't be very good. Mm. Um, he has made so many wonderful records. Mm. Um, and I thought we, we should play it. Um, In appreciation of Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be one of the people who are going to see him at um, Wem uh, Wembley Arena? Yes, I am. This month? Yes. I am. Oh, right, you got your ticket, have you? I've got my ticket. Morrissey, will you be going? Well, I don't <clears> have a ticket. Uh, would you like one? No. Uh, I, I thought I liked it at one point. I think about half, nearly halfway through, I thought I liked it. I think I liked bits of it, but then other bits of it uh, I didn't really like. So, um, safe to assume that I won't be, I don't know, singing it in the bath tonight? No, but you might be singing this. Eight Wonder? Oh, definitely. Of course, when the phone stops ringing. <laughs> when the phone stops ringing. How on Devoto, are you familiar with this band? Um, no, I think I know uh, of Patsy mm. Kensett. Um, I think I saw her looking very worried about a week ago. Um, I don't know. There's a certain there's a certain appeal to that, I think, um, I can recognise. Um, I think I'd rather see the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. Um, which is the seventh wonder of the world. Um, it's all right. It's all right. It doesn't actually move you, but it's okay. Oh, no, I'm sincerely not moved. No, right. Okay, well, we've got time for one more. Morris is on the toilet. This is that petrol emotion. <laughs> 